Welcome to our to our home in very cold, wintry California. Mm -hmm. oh, so, I'm going to talk today about prayer, the the power of prayer, and um, I have a story. So, about 35 years ago, Barry and I <clears throat> had the privilege of being at the White Eagle Lodge in outside of London in England and we had studied the White Eagle teachings for a number of years and this was a, a retreat and there were people from all over the world at this retreat mm -hmm. and it's such a beautiful peaceful place and so we were not only with the people that were in the retreat but also sometimes we were with the the whole group of the White Eagle Lodge and there were some real old timers like well, we're kind of old timers now but um people in their 80s and <clears throat> and they 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 told us this story because they lived through world war ii so this is 35 years ago that that they're telling us this story and you know as as we all know london was heavily bombed and and there were always air raid sirens going off, and it was it was a very dangerous and and scary and unsettling time to be alive and living in London. But these people they stayed in London, they stayed living there, and every Monday evening at seven, I might have the time wrong, but every Monday evening. They, they gathered a, a circle of about 20 people at the White Eagle Lodge in London and in a, in, a, in a special room. And for one hour, they prayed for the safety of people living in London. Well, actually, people all over that were being affected by the war, but especially, especially London. And, and, and it was a great risk that they went to this, to this lodge because you know, there were bombs going off all over the place. But they would, they would meet. And one night they were meeting, and part of the lodge was, was, was bombed. And as it turned out, there was pretty much the whole lodge was destroyed except for the room where they were meeting, and that was structurally completely intact, and they were completely safe. And, 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 and those of us that were there at the retreat, we said, wow, wow, that's amazing. And they said, we know that prayer works. And they continued to meet every Monday and pray together because they knew that the, that the power of their prayers was very, very great. So there's this uh, doctor, Larry Dossey, who's written a number of books and he's just done all this research and he, he found that people who are prayed for um, have, a, have a better outcome and a better recovery in from surgery. So, that give, being said, I would like to ask for for your prayers, because you will get this. It'll be Sunday, and on Tuesday, two days later, I will be having a total knee replacement. Now, I know many people have had these, but for me, it's a it's a scary thing. It's a big thing. Um, it's the biggest, certainly the biggest operation. I've ever had in my life. I would really appreciate your prayers. Oh, uh, yeah. Can we do it right now? So let's just, um, I mean, if you could, you know, put your hands up and send love to Joyce right now. And, and let's just call upon the highest presence of love right now. You know, the divine healer, the divine presence, and send that energy to Joyce and to keep her safe and have a wonderful 
healing outcome from the surgery this coming Tuesday. Oh, thank you. Okay. So I'm, I'm allowed one guest, and I bet you can guess who that guest will be to be with me when I wake up. Yeah, if, if they allow guests. No, you can come in. I can come in. Okay. Do you have a song for us? Oh, I do. I, do. I, do. I, do. I really appreciate your prayers. It, it just means <clears throat> so much to me. Mm. Okay. In these hearts we know the truth In these hearts we laugh forever In these hearts we're all made new In these hearts, in these hearts In these hearts we're like the sun in these hearts in these hearts in these hearts we all are one In these hearts we know the truth In these hearts we love forever In these hearts we're all made new In these hearts, in these hearts in these hearts we're like the sun In these hearts, in these hearts In these hearts we all are one So let's close our eyes and just Trust right now in the power, the awesome power of prayer. Because it's, it's setting divine intention in motion. Whenever you pray, it's concentrating that divine power. You can send it anywhere you want. It can be about yourself, what you need, what other people need to bless other people to help with healing. So just trust, trust in that divine power. All right, thank you. I really, really appreciate your love and your support and your, and your, your prayers. Thank you very much. Mm, bless you. Blessings to you. <laughs>